Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando, and today I'm going to give you another sound design tutorial for frames. So, for today's tutorial, we decided to record a starting car and its engine, and let's do a patch on frames with that. So, let's start recording. Well, so here we are, and we're going to record a car. And basically, we're going to record some sounds from the engine and let's see what we've got. So let's do it. Okay, guys, so let's start with this patch baking and we're going to load this sound that we recorded before. And we're going to load it up with the frames on default patch. Here we have it. So we're going to start by loading it to the fourth layer. This is the sound. Okay, and first thing I'm going to do is turn the start off and change the offset. This means that it will start from here and then offset itself to loop on within the offset and size window. But I'm going to change here the loop on the underneath the window to ping pong and drop the, sensi the density to one, so it's only one grain playing. Like this. So now let's change the offset to 760. And the size to 150. Okay, like this. Raise the level to maximum and drop the cutoff to 893. Okay. Now let's drop the coarse tuning to minus 5. So let's raise the gain to 693. quite loud so I'm now going to go to the global and drop the output to 377 but then I'm gonna raise the pre-gain to maximum okay now let's raise the stereo spread to 160 and the red and color, let's drop it to 227. This in, on, when you're randomizing here on these parameters, this random color limits the maximum amount of randomization. So it's 227. And now let's raise the reverb to 210. But let's go here to the reverb. And we have a decay of 800. We want to put the high pass filter at 243 to filter some of those low rumbles that we don't want there. And a damping of 400. So this is our reverb. Okay, and we have our... <coughs> We have our first sound done. We just have to go to the first envelope generator on this sound and change it. But I think we have it probably done. Let's see, 0, 600, 1000. Yes, and on the DK, we have maximum DK. A curve of 450. And a maximum of 2733, like this. Then a sustain of 120. And a release of 600. 
1000 and a curve of 410. So here we have our first layer done. So let's now go to the third layer and control it. First, we're gonna change it to an oscillator. Let's raise the level to maximum. And now drop the cutoff to 173. Like this. Change it to a band two pass. Raise the gain to 593. Okay, like this. And raise the reverb to 093. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go to the second, uh, no, let's go first to the envelope generator. And on the first envelope generator, we're going to raise the attack to 257. On this sound. Change the curve to 500. And change the maximum to 200. 2966 milliseconds. 2966 milliseconds. Okay. Like this, then 400, 420, and 1000. 420. Sustain at maximum. Yeah, I think it's that. And then a release of 600 curve of 410. It's okay. Okay. So now let's go to the second oscillator. Turn it on. Oscillator, also a sine wave. And we want a pan of 60 right for now. We want to raise the resonance to 803. A level of 953. Drop one, two, three octaves. Gain at maximum. And as you can see, the gain going to maximum changes everything here. Now let's drop the cutoff to 220. Fine tune minus 073. Let's change the cutoff from a low pass four pole to a low pass two pole. Now let's go to the envelope on the second oscillator and let's raise the attack to 587. Change the curve of the attack to 293. Okay. Now the Maximum of it, it's one, two, nine, nine. Oh, should be one, three, it's okay. Now for the DK, 400, 420, 100, it's okay. So sustain it maximum. And then release is fine. So now let's go to the first layer. On the first layer, we're going to turn it to an oscillator as well. And let's get the resonance to maximum, drop the cutoff to 1, 
187. I'm going to put it solo for now. 187, low pass to pole as well. Level, we want it at 777. But we will change the gain. No, the gain is okay, it's 0, 0 0.5. Okay. Envelope generator 2 to maximum. Let's drop two octaves. Okay. And fine tune it to 93. 200 on reverb. And now let's change the envelope. From the first envelope generator, 6 to 7. Curve one. We want a maximum of one two nine nine, and a curve of one seven three. Okay, like this. Now for the DK, we have four hundred, four twenty, and a thousand. So. A sustain of 700 so we have nothing to change here so let's go to the second envelope generator which is attack of 410 410 a curve of 0 0.5 which is there then for the DK we have maximum DK a curve of 490 Maximum of four three nine nine four three nine nine can be four hundred four four hundred okay a sustain of zero and then release of a hundred max a thousand and a curve of five hundred so we have our envelope generator two amount on it. Let's now go to the second layer again, this one, and raise the envelope generator to amount to maximum as well. Let me and we're almost there. Almost there. I'm just. Uh, just what I did was raise the the gain on this to maximum. But we're getting this saturation on this one, which is not letting us listen to the rest. So we're gonna drop the level to 800. This is our patch. I hope you have enjoyed the construction of this sound, guys. So this was it, guys. It was fun to make this patch. Uh, one thing I want to note is that on this patch we made quite a good use of the saturation stages of frames. One thing that you can notice is that you have uh, a, a gain stage on the master channel, but on each layer you also have gain, so you can use that to saturate each of, the, of those layers. And when they mix up, you can get some nice interactions between the distortion and the priority that the mixing uh, engine gives to each of the layers. So that's something that you should explore and definitely you're gonna get some really great results with that. For me, I have to say goodbye now. It was really fun to do this patch and remember that if you like this content, give us a subscribe and a like to this 
uh, video that means a lot to us. I will now say goodbye and see you next week.